All right, it's time to talk about VeChain or VET. We're going to give a price prediction. We're also going to talk about a huge partnership that they landed recently and what their future plans are for changing the world through blockchain technology. VeChain is one particular asset that I've been talking about for a little bit off and on since early 2021. It most likely doesn't, you know, uh, it isn't talked about enough by me and many others. So I'm going to start to try to talk more about VeChain. I love what they are building there. Uh, they're, they're focusing on real world problems and how blockchain technology can really combat these issues. We're going to jump into some of those as well in the video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you like value when it comes to cryptocurrency. Now, let's start with the price here. Uh, we're sitting at this uh, two cent mark. We've been hovering here. We've been trying to break into three cents for a little while here, especially in the last seven days. We, you know, bounced up above the two eight level. Just we cannot get ahead of that 288 resistance and break it and go into the three cent range. Now, we are dialing back the overall crypto market is, but still, we've come a long way uh, in the last month for VeChain, and things are looking a little bit on the up and up. We did consolidate here around that three cent mark for quite some time here in June before the major sell off, and now consolidating down near the two cent mark, two, two and a half cent mark. We have been for quite some time here with VeChain. So, Real quick, we'll talk about here in the short term the price uh, of VeChain real quick. So, again, that strong resistance right now, it's the 100-day EMA uh, with a price action-based resistance near that 2880288 level. An immediate support level is available at the 207. Uh, there were talks about breaking that two-cent mark, and if it did, I would load the boat. We're getting away from that a little bit. We bounced off that 207. And uh, we held there pretty nicely, but that would be our next immediate support level if we break further to the downside. So we'll keep an eye on that. And uh, there was a third consecutive defeat from its immediate resistance at that 288 over uh, over the last seven days. So we've got some pretty strong immediate resistance there at that 288 level. And, uh, you know, basically really showing some good signs of strength would be passing that three four one level down here zero three four one if we broke that that would really give us some room to run to the upside for v chain here in the short term now i want to take you inside this article because v chain price predictions everybody likes a good price prediction even though we don't have a crystal ball and i am not a financial advisor we still like to give our opinions on these sort of things and get the opinions of others on these sort of things as well so after a record 15,000% gain from April 2020 to April 2021, which is insane, the VET price has been bearish, of course, down around 90% from its all-time highs. With a global risk rally expected towards the end of the year, a 1,000% move back towards the April 2021 high is feasible, according to this report here from Business to Community. Uh, so we could be looking at that high of 27 cents, perhaps later this year. We'll see. Uh, end of 2023. They're saying 50 cents is likely. And then the end of 2025, okay, they have, uh, it says big plans to disrupt traditional business models. We'll get into that here in a minute. With uh, Within the supply chain sector, its unique ecosystem, dual token setup, fee delegation, and tool chain platform could see its market cap rise significantly to a price of around $1 by the end of 2025. That would be, very interesting. That's about a 25x away from where we are right now. Now, uh, we have some things happening. UFC partners with VeChain aims to change the world. And this was uh, big, posted on July 20th. We got this news uh, this month. Uh, VeChain building solutions in the fields of sustainability, carbon management, medicine, automobile, energy, and DeFi, along with some more things as well. So UFC and VeChain partner up. Uh, this is big. 2015 is when VeChain was founded uh, by uh, Sunny Liu and Jay Zong. They recognized the potential for the blockchain technology to radically transform industrial processes that involve data sharing among various parties. Uh, so it actually launched, uh, launched on the Ethereum blockchain, but then they had their VThor or VeChain Thor uh, has grown tremendously and its scope of application has broadened to cater to uh, various initiatives like carbon management, automobiles, energy, medicine, 
and much, much more. I want to scroll on down here. What makes VeChain unique? Well, it's high, highly unique in that its technologies are more being used for tangible applications in the real world. It has landed commercial contracts with the likes of Walmart already and operates at a commercial scale. Specifically, Walmart China is utilizing VeChain's technology. This is almost unheard of in the space, which is predominantly filled with hype and hot air, right? VeChain is also unique in that it has uh, close working relationships uh, relationships with major consulting firms like DNV and PwC, who have been crucial in helping land contracts with Fortune 500 companies and governments across the globe. So it says here uh, down below that uh, VeChain could actually change the world. And this is how the price goes ballistic. If VeChain does in fact change the world and they're looking at many ways in doing so. So how about this? How about this uh, project they're working on plastic reclamation from the hydrosphere using blockchain to trace the location and weight data of uh, refuse collected as well as processing into new products. How about this carbon recording using blockchain, enabling much more accurate monitoring and more effective carbon markets and carbon trading in years ahead. They're also looking at agricultural data as well as uh, data when it comes to retail stores. So eliminating fraud and secondary luxury markets by using embedded NFC chips that carry production authenticity data from a manufacturer prevents resale fraud, protects consumers, provides brands far greater oversight of the cycle of their products. They're trying to do a lot here, right? And if they hit on a few of these, VeChain could be a massive winner in the future. So those are some price predictions in this video, the big partnership with the UFC, what their big plans are moving forward, some of the big projects they have when it comes to uh, working in carbon management, the automobile industry, uh, the energy sector, and much, much more. VeChain is certainly an altcoin to watch. It's ranked number 35 by market cap right now, and it'll certainly be one to keep your eye on as we go further into 2022 and head into 2023. Thank you so much for popping in. Appreciate it. Make sure you hit the like button on your way out. That's what we've got for you in this one. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.